Hi, I'm Chris Berkeley, and I'm a digital marketing consultant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up goal conversion tracking using the Contact Form 7 plugin and Google Tag Manager. Let me unpack that a little bit. You have a WordPress site, and you're using the Contact Form 7 plugin for form submissions, and you want to track submissions to those forms as goal conversions in Google Analytics, and you're using Google Tag Manager. I wrote a blog post about this, and it was very popular, so now I'm making a video to walk you through it step by step. Let's go ahead and jump right in, and I'll show you how to do that. Before I dive into the step-by-step -step process, let me explain what we're going to be doing here. When someone submits a Contact Form 7 form, there is a browser event indicating that mail has been sent. And we are going to use Google Tag Manager to take that browser event and transform it into a Google Analytics event, which we will then use to set up a Google Analytics goal conversion. If you prefer to follow along with step-by-step -step written instructions, I have the same guide on my website, and there's a link in the video description where you can go find that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is you have to have a, a form that you want to track. And the example I'm going to use here is a website, a mountain biking website that I founded a few years ago and used to write for, and we have a uh, contact form 7 form here. Um, so next, uh, when you have a, a site, obviously a form you want to track, you're going to go into Google Tag Manager. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new tag. So you'll navigate here down to Tags and then click New. And this one we are going to name WPCF7 Mail Sent. And then click on Tag Configuration. And it's going to uh, scroll down here and pick Custom HTML. And then what you're going to want to do here is, again, add some custom JavaScript. And if you need to get this JavaScript, uh, again, it's present on my website in my written guide for uh, how to do this. And it's also, uh, there's a TXT file that's linked in the YouTube video description. So you can go ahead and grab it there. And what this JavaScript does is it just sits on every page on the site and it's going to sit there and wait. And it's going to listen for a form submission. Uh, but not just any form submission, it's going to listen and make sure that mail was actually sent. Uh, and that way you're making sure that you're only tracking successful submits. Uh, if someone were to fill out the form and leave out um, one of the required fields and then try to submit it, um, this JavaScript would ensure that that did not get counted um, as a form submission. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to grab the Contact Form 7 form ID. So that's going to allow us later to set up different goal conversions based on uh, different form IDs. So if you only wanted to track one form instead of all of them, you can just use that form ID to specify which one you want to base your, your goal conversions on. So this creates a, a data layer push and, and sends, the Google, uh, sends the data to Google Analytics. And you can go ahead and click Save here. Uh, actually, scroll down. And then under Triggering, uh, you're going to want to choose a trigger and pick All Pages. So we want to make sure that this JavaScript fires on every page on the site. And then you can save that. And then the second thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a trigger. We're going to create a new one. And we're going to name this. Contact Form 7 Trigger. In Trigger Configuration, we're going to set it up as a custom event, and we are going to call that WPCF7 Successful Submit, uh, because again, this is the language from the JavaScript event that we just set up, and we are going to fire that on all custom events, and then go ahead and click Save. Next, we're going to set up a second tag. We're going to call this one Contact Form Submission. And under Tag Configuration, we're going to do Universal Analytics. And as the track type, we're going to do an event. And then this is really important. So this information here is how we're going to differentiate uh, this event from others that may be present in Google Analytics. So for the category, we're going to do Contact Form. For the action, we will do Successful form submission mail sent. And then in the label, we are going to do, and this is important that you add the, the curly quotations here, or the, the curly parentheses, CF7 form ID. And we'll touch on what this is going to do in a minute. But basically, this is going to capture the individual form ID. So if you want to track a specific form or multiple forms, you will differentiate with this field here. Uh, you can add a value if you want to. For example, you could do page URL or some other things. Um, but that's not necessary. That would just be extra information if you wanted it. As a non-interaction hit, leave that as false. 
and then under set it, select settings variable, um, override the settings, and then just go ahead and add in your Google Analytics tracking code there. Uh, you may already have that set up as a variable in Google Tag Manager, uh, in which case it's super easy to add. Then at the bottom, we are going to set up the trigger as the one we just created, contact form seven trigger. Okay, then the fourth thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a variable related to that tag we just created. And we're gonna to scroll to the bottom and add a new variable. We're gonna call that one CF7 form ID. This has to be the same as the variable that we just put in the previous tag. And for the variable configuration, we are going to grab a data layer variable. And then that is going to be CF7 form ID. And then we'll click save there. All right, so now we've created two tags, a trigger and a variable, and we're basically done in Google Tag Manager. But real quick, let me go back and review everything we created and how it works. So again, under tags, we created a JavaScript tag that listens for that browser event when mail is sent, and it pushes this event, the WPCF7 successful submit, and also the form ID into the data layer. And then once it's in the data layer, we need to somehow grab it, and then we're gonna use the trigger. So the contact form seven trigger basically looks for that particular event, and then all it does is set up to trigger the next tag. So the contact form seven submission tag has uh, the category contact form, the action, and then the label is actually gonna grab the form ID that we sent from the first tag. Of course, the variable that we just set up simply grabs that information from the data layer and pulls it into Google Tag Manager so we can use it in Google Analytics. So that's it for Google Tag Manager setup. Now what you have to do next uh, in order to get this into analytics um, is go in and you can go into admin and you can go over all the way right here to goals if you wanna set up goal conversions. And here I already have mine set up but I'll show you how to do it. So under goal setup, you're gonna scroll down and click custom, and then continue. Under goal description, um, you wanna give it a name, uh, contact form seven submission is mine, and the type is going to be an event. Again, this is gonna rely on the Google Analytics events that we just created through Tag Manager. Click continue. And then for the goal details, we're gonna set this information to be consistent with what we just put into Google Tag Manager. Uh, so in this case, the category is actually going to be contact form. Um, the action is going to be successful form submission, mail sent. Now the label. So again, if you wanted to track submissions to all of your contact form seven forms, then you would leave this blank um, because then it'll track everything. Now, if you wanted to track a specific form, you can add in the form ID here. And to find the form ID, if you go into contact form seven, you'll get your contact forms. Each contact form will have an ID associated with it. Um, it's gonna be this number here. So in this case, I have two forms, um, but if I only wanna track one of them, then I'm gonna look for this ID here. And this is of course dependent on what pages that you have these on. So it's important to know where they're located. Uh, on my contact page here, if I look at the form itself, you'll see the number is 2477 which is of course consistent with the ID that's in the short code here. So I'm just gonna track that one. So I'm gonna go into my Google Analytics goal conversion. I'm gonna do 2477 as my label. And again, you can set that to um, whichever one you want to. And if you wanna set up multiple goal conversions for different forms, you can do that. Um, use the event value as the goal value for the conversion. I don't have a value in this case. If you wanted to add value to the form submission, you can, um, but I'm not going to. And then I will click save. And then you have your goal conversion in there. And the next step would be to test it and verify that it's working, uh, preferably using uh, the real-time reports. You can look at events um, and conversions. And then these two things um, would help you determine that tracking has been set up correctly. Uh, I may create a separate video on how to track that because uh, that's a little bit more of a process to troubleshoot and make sure that everything is correct. 
All right, that wraps it up for our goal conversion tracking with Contact Form 7 and Google Tag Manager. If you have any questions, definitely tweet at me and I'll be glad to answer them. You can also leave a comment here. If you like this video and you want to see others like it, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.